for those of you who are a little bit crazy, a little bit like me, right into the Tesla Cybertruck, here's a few little pieces of news we've seen within the past 48 hours about the Tesla Cybertruck. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And yes, yes, I know you, I am a bit obsessed with the Cybertruck. I placed an order many years ago. I know I'm not going to get one for a lot of years because I'm here in Australia. I have thought about moving to the US though, so I could maybe actually get my order there. I'm assuming I'm pretty far up in the queue considering I ordered within about 20 minutes. Now, I actually have a thought here, guys. If you're in the US and I can transfer my order to you, I would do so if you're really super keen on it. Now, the reason I say that is because I know they're not coming to Australia anyway for at least a few years. So I don't think it'd make any difference for when I would receive my vehicle here in Australia. So if you're really keen, send me an email and um, maybe I can transfer it to you. Now, this is the news that a lot of people have already seen, but if you haven't seen this, or even if you want to see it again, because it's amazing, there's a drone that followed a Tesla Cybertruck driving around for five minutes, and it got some really good 4K video footage, which blew my mind. I have never seen a pickup truck drive like this. The acceleration was mind-blowing. Acceleration is one thing. I mean, I don't think too many people care about acceleration, but the way this thing stopped and started was just absolutely staggering. I, I don't know how that's possible considering this thing has 20 inch wheels with all terrain tires on it. They're just massive, they're 285s. They're basically like equivalent to 34 inch tires. And the thing was stopping and starting incredibly quickly. But what was far more interesting than that to me was the turning. I have no idea how this thing, even I know it's got four wheel turning, you know, it's obviously can steer from the rear as well as the front. I still have seen, I've seen other vehicles that have that feature. They've existed for years now. I've never seen them turn like this. I mean, how the hell is this thing turning at such an incredibly sharp radius? It's absolutely amazing. And considering this is a very big vehicle. I mean, this is what, six foot, this vehicle? It's long, it's big, and it turns like no other car that I've personally ever seen. That's not hyperbole. I haven't, if you've seen a car turn like this, I haven't even seen race cars turn like this. I don't know how it could turn so sharply. But anyway, that was really cool, uh, that footage of what was going on there. Now, another really cool thing was that we just saw nine cyber trucks get delivered to California, to the Fremont factory, I believe it is, in California. There's a lot of speculation about what's going on with those cars. People are saying, oh, this, they're going to start selling them. No, there's no way they're going to sell those, um, what would be basically prototype cyber trucks. I think they'll use them for two things. One, for testing. I'll have people just test them, drive them around, and they'll give people, you know, employees kind of that bit of excitement to see them, have a drive of them possibly, some of them. The other thing they'll probably do for them is put them in stores. So they'll put them in Tesla's most popular stores to, for people to have a look at them and to see what the truck looks like. I don't think it's likely Tesla would sell these pre-production versions of the Cybertruck, but that's what I think would happen with them. What do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think Tesla's gonna do? Because this is not just one or two, this is nine. In other interesting news, apparently Tesla is changing the road, says CHP Button Willow. Now, what's this all about? Well, in February, Tesla CEO Elon Musk said that the Cybertruck would change the look of the roads. And um, I agree. I know this sounds crazy, but I mean, honestly, why would you want a vehicle that rusts, uh, a vehicle that isn't uh, structurally sound, that has less capacity. This thing has an amazing tray size for the length of the vehicle. And Tesla keeps talking about this, and I think people ignore this fact. So it won't be just the fact that this looks really weird, and a lot of people think it's terribly ugly, but I think it looks good. I think it will actually change the roads to some significant degree, especially if Tesla can make 350000 per year, which is their planned production. To state the Cybertruck looks unique is an understatement, said Simon Alvarez, and I agree with him. The vehicle is technically a pickup truck, but in some ways it's an SUV. I mean, it has an electric roller cover, but it doesn't just cover a normal tray bed. It covers basically the entire portion of the vehicle, which is much bigger than a normal tray, because not only is it longer, it's also obviously much higher at the part that actually hits the cabin. Tesla has said it will be a great work vehicle. A lot of people disagree, but I would say that the 2 million plus pre-orders seem to suggest that probably a percentage of those people 
would plan on using it as a work vehicle. I don't think that more than 2 million people have ordered it just for the simple fact of driving around, not for work purposes. I could be wrong. There was a lot of people as well saying this. They said the Cybertruck was vaporware. It was fake. It would never exist. Well, fortunately, that appears to have been false. If the ever-increasing frequency of the vehicle sightings is an indication, it seems as though deliveries of the Cybertruck will happen within, I believe, two to three, maybe even four months, but no more than that period of time. This means the Cybertruck will end up being, I wouldn't say a common sight on the US roads, it will eventually, but you know, it'll be one of those things where you go, hey, I saw a Cybertruck, and some will say, I saw one too, but it won't be that common, at least not for a while. Now, the California Highway Patrol saw a Cybertruck and they posted it on their social media feeds, said, while on patrol this morning, one of our units spotted a few car haulers loaded with some very strange trucks traveling northbound on Interstate 5. I wonder what they are. Where are they going? This will be an interesting conversation starter. People, a lot of people haven't seen these. And they're going to go, what is that? It's very unusual, sort of sci-fi looking. It reminds me of a little bit of a, a DeLorean, like a... Cybertruck DeLorean, in a way. Now, Simon says that responses to the CHP Button Willows post suggested that numerous users of the social media platform are familiar with the Cybertruck. But obviously, I'm going to guess that people who are familiar with it answered the post. Some of those who have no idea what it is probably Googled it, trying to figure out what it is. But that said, there has been more search traffic on Google for the Cybertruck than the 10 most popular search terms for cars over the past two years. Put them all together and there's been more for the Cybertruck. It's just been a truly incredible amount of search traffic for one vehicle. Some commenters said that they were not aware that Cybertruck was actually making it to production. So they've seen YouTube videos calling it calling it vaporware and they believe them. I had a discussion with my son today. He's um, just about to turn 10. But he's often tricked by YouTube videos into thinking things are just not what they are. Just there's so many YouTube videos are just complete nonsense made for clickbait. It's really disappointing that um, people do this. They're willing to do this just for the sake of getting some clicks, making a bit of extra money. They just totally make things up. It's very, very common. So a lot of people thought the Cybertruck had been cancelled. People were saying it's vaporware, it's fake, it's been cancelled, this can't be real. I'm telling you now, there's still a lot of people who believe the Cybertruck isn't real and that it never will be. The reason key, the key reason being Clickbait is on YouTube, people who hate Tesla. Well, there's probably a fair few reasons. Let me know what your thoughts are on that in the comments. The wait for the Cybertruck has been long as well. So you can see how people would have lost patience and decided that therefore it must be fake. It was unveiled in late 2019. So that was what? It was actually unveiled almost exactly four years ago. But to be fair on that unveiling, I don't think Tesla promised that it would be built in a certain time. And the other thing is there's many vehicles throughout the history of the automotive industry where they've not been produced for four to five years after the vehicle was initially unveiled. I mean, today, Lamborghini unveiled their new electric supercar, which won't be made until 2028, which is around five years away. I think this is kind of a, a version, actually, of the Lamborghini supercar, which is sort of um, a very angular-looking off-road narrow kind of not narrow but low looking supercar the thing is it's very possible there will be very likely there'll be a tri-motor plaid version of the cybertruck apparently which will be capable of doing zero to 62 miles an hour in around about two and a half seconds so would you rather get that or pay two million dollars for lamborghini's new electric supercar well i know which one i'd prefer what are your thoughts let me know in the comments thank you for watching